hope everyone is good and I hope people are finding lots of things to do while they are on lockdown. And basically it's like 10 o'clock at night right now and I fancied a cheeky little snack. So I wanted to make my triple chocolate cookies. Um, I say mine, obviously, I didn't come up with the recipe. In fact, my flatmate Hafiza gave me this recipe and I wanted to share them with you guys because these cookies bang differently. Like they are so nice. But how could I not share them with my YouTube friends, you know? So I thought if I'm going to make them, I may as well show you guys how to do it so you can make them at home too because these are so nice and while we're locked up inside, like, what else is there to do other than eat, do you know what I mean? We're trying to get thick this quarantine, okay? We're trying to put on some weight. Let's not waste our time, guys. Let's get thick while we're at home, okay? So if you want to see how to make the best triple chocolate cookies ever, then keep watching. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 200 degrees. So for this recipe, you need 200 grams of butter, 300 grams of caster sugar, one large egg, 275 grams of self-raising flour, 75 grams of cocoa powder, a dash of milk, and two bars of chocolate. I like to use the Cadbury's dairy milk, but you can literally use any chocolate bars you want. You can even add Oreos. So these are the ingredients that you need. I'll put all the weights in the description box down below so you don't have to worry about writing it down. So first, you want to measure out the butter and the caster sugar, and then you want to mix those together. Until it looks something like this. And just a heads up guys, these cookies have a lot of sugar in them, so you've been warned. So now we need to add the egg. I'm going to try and crack it and put it in with one hand. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it actually worked. So you want to add the egg and then mix that in. I'm sorry, but that was so smooth. I'm turning into a whole chef. So now the egg's been added in, we just want to add the dry ingredients, which is the cocoa powder and the self-raising flour. So I've now mixed in the self-raising flour and the cocoa powder and you can tell that it's a bit dry. So I'm going to add a little dash of some milk. That's probably a dash, yeah. So add more milk if you need until you get a consistency that looks like this. Nice and sticky, mate. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we've added all the ingredients, we're going to chop up the chocolate and chuck that in as well now. Oh, my God, guys. I got copyrighted for using Drake nonstop, so I'm going to sing it. Look. Look. I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody else is doing this. Body start to drop, a. Hey. So I've cut up the chocolate and I've left like this much of the Cadbury's milk chocolate bar because I don't like them too chocolatey, but guys, add however much you want. You can add the whole bar, you can even chuck in a dark chocolate bar as well. You can leave the chunks bigger, like just however you like it, but I just like them a bit smaller and not too much chocolate. So I've added the chocolate and now we want to get our baking tray. You put a foil over it or baking paper, whatever you have, and we're going to add the cookies to the tray. Just like to pick some up and grab it with my hand and then roll it into a ball. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could make a hole in the cookie and then add Nutella. So you want to get a spoon and then put a lump on your hand. Make sure you've got chocolate in there. So you're probably going to need two baking trays, but my other oven tray is in the dishwasher right now, so I'm just going to do one batch at a time. But these are ready to go into the oven, and I'm going to put them in for exactly 11 minutes. Okay guys, so the time has just gone off and the cookies are done. See that, yeah. Yes, now these cookies are foyer mix. That was my Birmingham impression. So when you take them out of the oven after 11 minutes, it might look like they're still uncooked, but, but they're not. So just take them out anyway and then let them set for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you will get the perfect cookies but those are the triple chocolate cookies that i always make and they are so nice so definitely recommend to try them out guys if you do send me a picture let me know how they came out if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe i'm gonna go and have a fat attack now so i'll see you later bye